preparation time expired. So now we'd like to start the test debate for the Kansai 2014. The motion for the test debate is this house will recognize really harming neighboring countries due to um, projects which massively damage the environment um, as equivalent act of war and of approved the use of military f to remove such, co such codes of environmental degradation. First of all, I'd like to call upon Prime Minister to show your first affirmative case within seven minutes. We are talking about countries create a huge factory near the border, or the country where country pitch that create the dams and and the uh, and the river, or the pitch these the huge damage to the environment or neighboring country. We think that such, if such kind of project appear with such kind of neighboring country, try to calculate that such kind of damage on the dam, and they, they decide whether this project should be stopped or should not be stopped. And when the country decide that this project should be stopped, that they, such kind of country try to caution to stop this kind of project. And if such kind of caution cannot be work, cannot be workable in this situation, they, they as a more, more severe as a more severe caution. If you don't stop the, this kind of this kind of project, we'd like to intervene militarily. Such kind of caution cannot be workable in this particular situation. As a last result of this particular situation, we think we are right. We'd like to organize a military. We think if necessary, international help is also okay in term, in terms of multi multi in, in, in terms of organizing multi multi intervention and possibly try possibly intervene this kind of place where a project disappear and try to ex try to possibly expel the workers of the dam or workers, workers of creating pro creating factory or workers of the fact workers of the factory where we direct to expel these kind of people and what we see uh, on what we see if such kind of counter military exists in this particular places in this situation only the soldier we can attack to, attack by this kind of military but we say that ordinary workers should be only expelled and we say we never attack this kind of ordinary worker but we attack to the soldiers in the first place and after expelling this situation we say after, after, after expelling the workers or the soldiers, we say we direct to remove the dam or remove the dam or the bomb the dam or the, remove the factory in the first place. And we say that kind of after the removing removing dam, we direct to the for, for example clean the water. In order to clean the water, we use a filter to clean the water in order to save in order to keep the environment before. We say this is clearly clear fine scenario in the first place. And we say if, if necessary, we say after such kind of intervention, we direct to stay the military in order to not to next. Next cooperation, next cooperation, or next project, we say that's kind of such a mechanism clearly workable. So let's talk about my issues. We're going to talk about two issues in my speech. First, we're going to talk about the legitimacy of the legitimacy of the recognition of the laws, and secondly, we're going to talk about how, after plan adoption, the such kind of environment problem will be solved. So let's start. Firstly, the environmental recognition that uh, and recognition of the war. We think that they intentionally, when the people or the country intentionally damage the countries, for example, the invaded land or the country try to exploit the resources. In order for their benefit, we think that such kind of self defense idea of self defense can be occurred in the first place. Because in the, con in the context of the international society, there is no, no, no unified single rules. And that's why we say the power is sometimes necessary in terms of defense themselves. That's why we say when the such kind of harm is extremely significant and cannot be acceptable for the, by the country, we think we have the clear legitimacy to, uh, to the declare the war as a war, as an act of the self defense. That's why we think that we say in this particular case, is there is clear difference, clear, clear legitimacy to act to act the war, Mr. Speaker. We say that if, we, of course we don't we, we see the clear direct causal link in terms of the harm and the, such kind of project because I can explain in my second issue. So how is the harm to the how is the harm to the environment? For example, look at the in, in, in the instance of the dam. We say if, if such kind of China use, create a huge a huge huge dam because the dam purpose of the dam is stop the water in order to keep the water. In this particular case, is the under such kind of particular near the river, we say the lack of water or the shortage of water is an extremely severe problem. First, we say the shortage of water simply does not harm to the people because people cannot drink the water because water is fundamental issues in the, in our daily lives. And secondly, we say we cannot grow the crops in for by using water, especially the water from the river is extremely important part of the growing the crop because without growing growing crops, because vast majority of people will will be hunger, and we say this situation is totally unacceptable because people. People's nutrition cannot be guaranteed. People's uh, the country's weight, uh, country's weight of the growing crops will be cannot be guaranteed 
uh, in that particular in this particular context, that uh, is a that kind of harm to the environment, especially in the context of water, is extremely severe problem. And what we say in the context of polluting water, we say this is also a problematic, especially polluting water. We say the food chain concentration of okay, the speaker, because the poison that such kind of poison is, uh, the poison the fish is the poison and such kind of large, more large fish is the is this kind of fish and such kind of concentration or the poison is extremely severe problem because but then the people eat this kind of eat this kind of fish they are severely damaged to the body or even genetically damaged the body and we say that children or the people every single people will suffer in the in the in this particular context and we say this situation is extremely severe yes. Okay, as for, as for the harm, but do you think about cyber attack or economic policy that might kill the people in other countries? Well, actually, we are more than happy to accept that such kind of cyber attack is act of war because in the current context, uh, a lot of people recognize such kind of cyber attack is important part of the uh, strategy of the war. For example, in the case of China, China recognized the cyber attack as a fifth part of the war, uh, the, the military act, military act. That's why we say we are more than happy to accept such kind of cyber attack as a war because it is severely harm to the people. So let's move on to the issue of the solution. How we can solve the after this puzzle? So first, first we say we, uh, we say we can de remove the direct causal link when such kind of project is already taken. For example, China uh, for example, China creates a dam and we can we, we can bomb the dam, we can remove the we remove the people who create the dam, remove, create the dam or people who work uh, work with the dam in the in the first place. That's why we say we can directly we can directly throw the water to the river or Mekong River. We say there is no problem at all. And what we say that China don't have the incentive to the counter attack in the first place. Because simply that because because of recognition that China is already at the first attack of the environmental pollution and international society recognize that China is a first attacker. That's why, that's why we say that there is clear, that's why we say that if China try to counter attack and kill the soldier of the, of the for example, the the Mekong, Mekong people, or in, the, in, in this particular case, the international criticism is extremely severe. That's why we say simply that China, try, China cannot the counter attack, and we say that we can remove the direct causal link. That's why we say there is clear solution in the first place. And as a second solution, we say there is clear deterrence effect, Mr. Speaker. We say there is a hard because we, because we say after the this proposal, we say that we can, or international society can recognize such kind of act as a war, and in this particular case, if such kind of particular activity leads such kind of attack, or international attack, or international criticism, in this particular case, we say that we say that in order to avoid this kind of situation, if, if they want to want to project such kind of environmental polluted problem, they have to talk or they have to consult with a neighboring country and how much damage or how much compensation is necessary if they want to create. That's why I say much, much reasonable source or the much reasonable project will be, uh, will, be, will be established. And we say in this particular situation, we say that, that such, such kind of environmental problem will be, disapp will be disappear and people will be happier. We say this we are very proud of course. Thank you for the mocks. Next, I'd like to call upon the leader of the opposition to show your first negative case for the seven minutes. Intention is a criteria. 
First, we cannot know what intention is a criteria in the first place, why that can be the only reason that we can intervene. But secondly, we think in the status quo, like cyber attack or economic policy, which may kill the people in, the, in other country, cannot be recognized as an act of war. They told us like cyber attack is recognized as an act of war in China, but the fact is, in most of the countries, cyber attack is not an act of war, unfortunately, Mr. Speaker. They are actually against the status quo analysis, we think that's false. So moving on to our case, we have two analyses from the leader of opposition. Firstly, about the, the criteria of war, why that has to be strict, when is actually the time that we can recognize something as an act of war. Secondly, I'm going to tell you how the war will be more likely to occur, especially the large country can benefit from this policy. So first about the criteria of war. As I told you in my introduction, within once war starts, it's the time that massive number of people are involved in severe damage. For example, infrastructure collapses or life are involved, now many people are killed. So we think we need a very high standard when recognizing something as an act of war, Mr. Speaker. We have three criteria to decide this, not an intention or like somehow like no unreasonable criteria that they gave us. We have two criteria, right? First year about the proportionality, Mr. Speaker. Because if the counterattack is not proportionate, it's the time that it's unfair for country to do so. But secondly, we think the existence of alternatives is also the criteria. Because we think if there exist alternatives, this is the time that we can avoid certain harmful acts for these people, for people living there. Mr. Speaker, we can avoid the massive harm by war. This is the reason why we think these two kinds of things have to be a criteria to decide when war starts, Mr. Speaker. This is clearly shown by the fact that, for example, cyber attack or economic policy, just like controlling currency, etc., cannot be recognized as an act of war, as a, as a trigger war, Mr. Speaker, simply because it's, pro it's unproportionate in the first place, but more than that, we think there exists a clear alternatives to take, Mr. Speaker. So what about today's case? First, we think it's very unproportionate because of the fact that massively damaging this criteria is too much vague, Mr. Speaker. There's no analysis, no reasonable definition of massively damaging in the first place, which means, for example, you, the United States emitting CO2 to the atmosphere and many people suffering from global warming, etc. That can be, for example, massively damaging people, Mr. Speaker. Only other instances, for example, that people in Fukushima are suffering from the leak of atom uh, atomic, uh, atomic nuclear leaking, we think that, that can be massively damaging, right? What is that tree is massively damaging? It's very vague in the first place. We think this proposal is unproportionate in the first place. But secondly, we think there exist alternatives, as I told you. For example, the provision of water or food, etc. They can go to the court and they can be paid compensation. For example, the case of oil leak in Mexico Gulf. Of course, the country are paid money by private company in this instance. We think there already exist successful instances of paid back or compensation. We don't think the problem is so severe in the first place. So secondly, about why we think that under their policy, more people are killed and more what happens by being that harmful. Firstly, we think that China has clear incentives to protect their dam, Mr. Speaker. They told us that like, China will care and fear criticism. We think there are more practical reasons why China has to protect the dam. Because firstly, dam is necessary for their country, Mr. Speaker. The dam is necessary to, for example, generate electricity to sustain the economy, sustain the people, sustain factory, Mr. Speaker. Or they need dam in order to control the water, which might harmful for their own cities, Mr. Speaker. Or the life is involved in the instance, therefore, that China has to protect the dam for their own country. But secondly, we think this is also related with the principle of the country, Mr. Speaker. That China China uh, actually prioritize the economy than the environment. In this informal instance, if China accepts the intervention from other country, this is the time that the principle of China or these sorts of like large country is highly likely to diminish. This is the reason why we think that these sort of country have clear incentive to protect the dams or these sort of institutions, Mr. Speaker. This is why we think these country are likely to fight against the military intervention. This is a clear Thing, Mr. Speaker, in this form of instance, what we can say is that other countries is highly likely, highly unlikely to cooperate because of the risk aversion feeling, Mr. Speaker. If, for example, Japan or United States go to China and fighting against military, this is the time that big and severe war is highly likely to occur. This is the reason why Japan or United States, this sort of country, is highly unlikely to cooperate with like intervening China, Mr. Speaker, because of the risk aversion feeling. Therefore, we think that China or this sort of country can and 
continue to like damaging the other environment if, like as they said, China is a bad country in the first place, Mr. Speaker. This is the reason why under their policy, like small country can, and even if small country going into China, this conflict is high likely to continue because small country have no way to win the war in the form of instant. This is the why we think the people and involved will be more and more killed because the war won't settle down, Mr. Speaker. And secondly, we think that this proposal will be easy excuse for other country to intervene in certain country. Because as I told you, massively, this criteria is extremely vague. So for example, that China or Russia, this sort of country, can utilize this criteria as an excuse to intervene in other country. For example, CO2 emission or emission of certain chemical substances, we cannot know what exactly is the massively damaging other country. This is the reason why like, China and Russia can say, your country is massively damaging our country, that's why you're intervening it. They have the justification to do so. So their policy will simply, uh, under their policy, simply large country can intervene in, into a small country and can be benefited from this proposal. So we think their policy will harm people, harm small countries, especially we oppose. Thank you. Thank you for the remarks. Next, I'd like to call upon Deputy Prime Minister to show the second affirmative case within seven minutes. Now the uh, the weak country was uh, the uh, the inhabitants by Mekong Basin cannot change ne never ever change the uh, Chinese stance or uh, it also so the uh, this uh, military force is the last resort to change the uh, uh, Chinese stance and moreover the, uh, by by the existence of military force the uh, before the before the military force the negotiation with with the uh, uh, Chinese government, it will uh, work well, uh, work well more than the status quo. So, so we are very proud of. Uh, so we are very proud of uh, proposing this, this this motion. Uh, firstly, let me move for education. Firstly, they said about the cyber attack or so. Cyber attack is not uh, is not in invasion or the a war uh, in the international uh, thought, because. Uh, so the, uh, the same as this, uh, we should not uh, regard, regard this, uh, this uh, the damage to the uh, environment of the other countries as the uh, in invasion or the cyber attack, they said, but it's not true, because in the cyber attack, it is no uh, direct physical damage, or the, uh, the, the, this, it is not the problem of the life, and moreover, the, uh, in the cyber attack, the other country also can use the cyber attack to the such, uh, such other countries. So there is no, uh, so no uh, unfairness. The uh, weak country cannot the change, cannot the cannot cannot change the uh, stance or so on. Such such a uh, thing don't happen. So uh, this example is not uh, this example doesn't work. And secondly, they say that the uh, China can keep the sorry can keep the uh, can keep the developing the environment, de developing the, the industry, for example, with, to damage the environment of the other country, uh, because China is so large country, so the China have uh, the power, and so the, uh, in this case, uh, uh, world, the world, 
for all the Chinese stamps or the Chinese sort of song, but it's not true because as we, as my partner already told you that the the about, uh, the Chi China government or the such country are afraid of the uh, such uh, military forces because uh, uh, in this case the uh, the damage is uh, so huge and moreover the in so and moreover in in such case the uh, uh, the the environmental degradation is so uh, clear to the uh, and the the a uh, weak country that can show the uh, uh, how serious the environmental degradation is also in such case that the world the, the world the synthesize the such country so the try to change the uh, Chinese stance also so in this case the workability uh, uh, exists exist absolutely so the argument totally doesn't stand no thank you so let me move on our point firstly I clarify the uh, criteria of the invasion or the war or the uh, when when the government can use the military force or so on. So uh, I explain about this. Okay. Well, the problem is always military cooperation is voluntary. Why many countries have the motivation to cooperate, taking a risk? Just look at the case for Syria or so forth. Okay. Even if the, it is the risk of the a war, the trigger of the war. But, uh, but in in this case, uh, the uh, uh, as we as my partner already told you that uh, before the uh, before the military forces, uh, we we ne negotiate with uh, such China or the such country. Well, so in this case, uh, uh, such uh, military forces so last resort in such uh, so such things uh, don't happen don't happen uh, very often. So uh, so. Such harm is so, uh, uh, it is, uh, doesn't happen well, so the argument uh, is not important. So let me, so, from the, our point. The, what is the, the criteria of uh, uh, an invasion? The country whose environment is damaged can regard this uh, declaration as an invasion uh, because, as, as, as uh, my partner said, that the, the citizen or inhabitants by the convention so so uh, it's so serious situation and uh, so in such case the uh, the country can regard this attack as an invasion whether it's because a uh, factor is the malicious intention or the and the second is the direct harm or the physical harm and thirdly the main cause is so clear. I explain about this one by one. Firstly that China or ca country can expect the how impact or the how serious the such pollution is or the uh, no, thank you. And, but knowing that, uh, but knowing that, uh, the, knowing the information about the such sort of pollution, uh, the such country that develop the industry for the subjective or the selfish the reasons. In such case, the uh, intention exists. And moreover, the, the the this case, in this case, uh, uh, the direct harm or the direct damage exists. Uh, comparing with other uh, cyber attack or so, for example, the uh, the in the uh, the. The inhabitants by the become basis uh, cannot cannot get uh, enough food or the cannot feed the, their children or the cannot live comfortably and finally they cannot deprive of can, they are deprived of the life to survive in or so on. So in this case it is so serious and more but in this case the main cause is so clear uh, comparing with uh, so for example CO2 or the other thing other environmental problem. So in this case uh, we can Stop the, we can stop the such bad environment or the damaging environment only only by using the uh, using the negotiation or the using the military force to such a clear cause or the main cause or so. So in this case, uh, we should we should uh, we should take the military forces to the such a main cause and uh, we can regard regard this uh, environmental de degradation as the. Uh, uh, invasion. Uh, f finally, I explain about that. By this motion, we can change the stance of China or the such country which damages the environment of other country B because uh, we degree the problem and sympathy between such country. As we already said, the aesthetic problems of China or the countries are afraid of the such uh, last resort or so so much. So in this case, China uh, don't try to the build build dam or the chemistry factory. So in this case, uh, such the problem. Uh, 
uh, firstly, the problem that never ever happens in this case that we we are uh, we don't we don't need to appraise about the uh, uh, such military forces the war or the trigger of, of war. So it's, so we are very proud of uh, proposing this motion. Thank you. Thank you for the marks. Next, I'd like to call upon the deputy dead in the opposition to show your second negative case within seven minutes. Because they have, they they, have, they, uh, they don't have the motivation to owe the risk to to be killed and uh, be attacked from the China dam and so. On. So this is the reason I think that this motion don't have the workability. And, and there are a lot of the old uh, peaceful uh, peaceful ways exist. Uh, so I think um, and this motion is not necessary. Um, first, I'd like to some revert to the, my. Previous speaker. My previous speaker said, uh, "At Saibata, never kill people. No physical damage, but it's not true. You know, for example, the, if the um, sense wheels to the nuclear generator, and so on, what happened? Maybe there are a lot of the risks and so on exist. And maybe uh, so on that case, cyber attack and so on is enough, uh, uh, enough, da enough risk to 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 injure the citizen and so on. And secondly, um." Of course, it's the uh, direct damage or not is the one of the criteria of the. Uh, but also, there are lots of criteria is, is exist. There are the, uh, alternative, alternative ways exist or not, and so on. On that case, we, my partner already clearly said um, there are lots. If, if uh, we, uh, some, some citizens suffer over the water and so on, we can send the water and the food and so on. On that case, there are no necessity to, to commit to war and so on. Um, the more about we could uh, more about the uh, so so the kill for the, uh, the especially case of the China may maybe the, such as uh, the strong country like China and so on is to do such to make such a uh, dam and so on. This motion doesn't work because uh, a lot of Americans such a country feel fear because if once we attack from China and so on, the such a American citizen and so on are uh, maybe killed and so on. So of course the such a America and Europe uh, country don't have the motivation to join this this situation. So on that case, this motion it doesn't work. And so I think the I think they are I think this is very unfair in this situation. Um, no, thank you. Um, then, secondly, um, then I, next, I'd like to explain uh, the, my point. Um, I have a point. Uh, I want to explain about the case of that small developing country. I think because of the chilling effect, I think such a country ca cannot do enough uh, enough development. Because of, um, I think, uh, the first, the masses, the world of masses is very big, and the, the, the developing country cannot understand what is the uh, what they can do and uh, what not and so on. Uh, I want to explain it um, because of course once the the such as uh, small country said what you do is uh, destroy the uh, uh, environment a lot and so on. Because just because of it, uh, they are maybe attacked and so on. So of course because of the risk. And such a small developing country cannot do enough developing. Maybe the making the dam and the making um, using uh, uh, fire generator or and the nuclear generator because uh, fire generator uh, make that a lot of CO2 and of course the uh, nuclear generator has the risk to spread the such a lot of the dangerous um, uh, element and so on. And on the case. Um, 
compose and if so because of it the small country feels feel feel risk and of course if one such a such a uh, such a caution uh, caution is is accepted what happens of course the money to use such a the fire uh, generator and so on is uh, is wasted uh, because of they cannot keep such situation and so on. So because of it, uh, they lose the chance of the, to bring up their development and so on. So this is very severe because of it, uh, especially the just uh, small country cannot keep their their uh, cannot uh, protect their um, their right their level of, of the life and so on. Uh, they Yes, please. Don't you think this chilling effect leads to making the eco-friendly factory? I don't think so. Uh, because, uh, of, course the, of course, such a small country has a duty to protect their, um, their nation's life and uh, life, life level and so on. So, to, maybe to, so for example, so the site such as China and to, uh, try to make the dam because of the, because thanks to it, we can get the uh, electricity and so on. And maybe the water is necessary and so on. So in that case, I think uh, this is the essential thing for the such a country and so on. So if such a so uh, such a uh, small country cannot 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 avoid and so what um, the, such a their level is not so the uh, developing uh, level is not so high. Uh, so I think. Uh, such a uh, to protect the nation's uh, lifestyle, uh, they have to to keep. And so because of it, uh, uh, so I think because of this uh, this point, I think uh, so I think because of it, the the nation of the developing country uh, cannot uh, the the developing is stopped and so uh, or maybe at at least the, uh, the speed is degrees. Um, so I think and moreover, I believe. Uh, um, so I think and moreover, I think that if uh, so, and next I just I, I wanna say about the if uh, once what happened, what happened, and so I think this is a not the, this is not good solution. Uh, solution because uh, I think. Uh, if war and happen and such a dam and so on is completely destroyed, what happened? I think the cost itself is doesn't change. Oh, such a situation is remain and what happened? I think such a country maybe try to make remake again and so on because such a situation there and such a nation uh, suffer it doesn't change. So on that case, I think what we should do is we uh, we have to what we should do is we have to change that the cause of the, such a situation. Of, I think the experience of such a China and so on has a ne necessity to, to, to make because they, they don't have enough water and so on. What we should do is we should change this situation. So I think why it doesn't work. So, so I make your vote. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for the remarks. Next, I'd like to call upon web speaker from government to show your speech button seven minutes. We have to confirm that without taking this policy, uh, people, uh, people who are suffering from the lack of water um, along the Mekong Basin will forever they're suffering from this kind of situation, the speaker. There is no denial coming from opposition side. They concede, uh, big, uh, they concede that the, there is a problem of s in the status quo. So I'd like to talk about three things in my speech. Firstly, I will talk about when, we, uh, when the, some kind of, of activity that can, be, uh, can be equivalent to act of war. And secondly, I will talk about the, why uh, our policy has a clear workability. And thirdly, I will talk about the, that the argument coming from them about the abuse of rights. They talk about after taking this policy, the Russia, a large company, a large country will use this power in order to invade a small country and so on. I will this point. 
So uh, before going to my substantive point, I might not leave out the two three uh, previous speakers. The first one, the previous speaker, the leader of opposition, said that there is no necessity to take this policy because they have, uh, they can they send the food to the uh, people in Mekong Basin and so on. But there is no feasibility to uh, take this, uh, this alternative way. How and who and will uh, send the food to the, uh, this kind of, these people? No, thank you. And how long do you continue to send food and so on? So there, uh, there is a clear necessity to take this policy so the alternative way doesn't function at all. So uh, let me move to my substantive point. Firstly, I will talk about when uh, some kind of uh, some, uh, something uh, can be equivalent to the whole. The, there is a three criteria in this debate. Firstly, my first my speaker clearly told you that if there is an intention of some kind of act, we, we think uh, we can recognize this kind of act as war. My, uh, my, uh, for example, uh, uh, they talked about cyber attack. So uh, we think cyber attack the, is conducted with the clear malicious intention that some, uh, someone will attack. Uh, some country will attack other country with malicious intention. So we think this is, is among the, the criteria. Uh, in the, the criteria of intention. So, uh, moreover, the, for example, in the case of invasion for territory, uh, for example, in the past of Japan, the uh, past of Japan tried to the, uh, go to uh, uh, go to the China in order to get a treaty with Marshall's intention in order to exploit the uh, resources and so on. So we can empirically understand that intention can be the criteria to under, uh, to the recognize some kind as well. No, thank you. Secondly, they talk the pro proportionality. Now, firstly, what is proportionality in the first place? The why proportionality is so important as a criteria, we couldn't understand at all. And moreover, we, moreover, we think that uh, this, uh, this, even if this criteria is valid, we think this criteria clearly supports our case. Uh, and because uh, my past speaker told you that a lot of people are suffering, a lot of people are die, uh, dying in the status quo. So we think that these kind of people are uh, worth the getting the attack from other countries. And moreover, they talked about CO2 case. Uh, United States is a country who emits a lot of CO2 and so on. Uh, because, uh, so, uh, United States damage a lot of country and so on. But Mr. Speaker, firstly, we think that CO2 case is a uh, uh, controversial issue. CO2, uh, there is no direct causal link between CO2 and damage to other country and so on. So, uh, and moreover, we think that the difference here is that the, in, the, in the case of CO2, and not only the United States, a lot of the de de developed countries like China and Russia will emit the CO2 and the damage other countries. But in this case, the industry of China uh, creating a dam. The China, uh, but China with a malicious intention uh, damage the uh, Thai and Myanmar, Myanmar. So Mr. Speaker, there is a clear dif uh, a difference between the CO2 case and today's case. So their argument doesn't stand at all. And sadly, they talk about existence of alternative way. They talk about the, the court case. They support the court case. Mr. Speaker, we think court doesn't function because in, in the case of court, both companies have to appear in the court. And for example, in the case of Korea and Japan, and the Korea doesn't appear in the uh, in international uh, internet uh, IC, uh, and so doesn't appear in the court. So the problem. Is perpetuating in the status quo. So we think, that, and even in today's case, that China will never appear to the court. So we think problem ca cannot be solved in their alternative way. So we think that in this case, there is no alternative way. We have to take this policy. Secondly, I will talk about uh, our policy has a clear the workability. Oh, no thanks. The first thing they talk so about that after taking this policy, we will perpetuate because uh, China will try to, because that chi uh, China will try to protect the dam and so on. They uh, said that China, uh, China is the, the economy-oriented economy -oriented country, they will try to protect the country. If their logic is true, China will soon, the, soon stop the war because the military must cost a lot. So uh, they have to send a lot of soldiers, they have to use a lot of the military weapons and so on. So, Mr. Speaker, it costs a lot of a lot of cost. So, China will have a clear intention to, to stop the war because they have the economy of the country. Yes. Uh, which means China will win the war and under your policy because China will use much much money to win the war. How your policy will solve the problem? And China, uh, they will, uh, China will reclaim from the continuing the war in order to they cut the cost. No, no, thank you. So secondly, they other countries will never cooperate in taking this, um, this, this policy. 
Mr. Speaker, we think that the uh, uh, countries that have the in incentive to cooperate with uh, Thai and Myanmar, because they have the alliance, for example, the ASEM. So they have the alliance, they will uh, cooperate with each other. And moreover, the, uh, even the United States, as long as there is a benefit to help, help the, these kind of countries, they, will co uh, they can cooperate. For example, the Thai and the Myanmar is the countries like uh, the, uh, 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 has that issue with the, the target of investment, as long as the, there is a benefit for the United States to, uh, to cooperate and to these countries, they can, uh, they can help these countries. So we think after taking this policy, the uh, much, uh, much lateral the military forces can stop the war and the, can solve the problem. And thirdly, uh, uh, lastly, I will talk about the abuse of rights. Russia and some uh, small uh, Russia and large countries will invade and uh, 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 try to justify the invasion using this policy. It's not true because there is a recognition from the international society. If international society they look, recognize that there is a lot of se uh, severe damage to environment, they can the admin, uh, approve uh, this act. However, the international community doesn't uh, recognize the severe damage, they will never uh, help, and so on. So we think uh, even after the abuse doesn't happen. From this reason, we pass it to the Thank you for the remarks. Next, I'd like to call upon web speaker from opposition to show your speech within seven minutes. Um, uh, start the suffering of many people, 
um, of different countries. And we said that more um, criteria is um, required, and we said things like alternatives and proportionate, um, uh, proportionate assessment. And this, um, and we think that this is more um, relevant to this because the use of force can can cause a lot of damage. And even if we look at the example of Syria, like so many innocent civilians and children are being victimized, um, uh, victimized, and even more will be victimized if they keep on using like chemical weapons, right? But the Security Council has not yet allowed the use of force to military intervene in Syria. Why? Because the use of force has to be assessed carefully because it has the possibility to increase and ma uh, maximize the number of victims even more than required. Um, so the three um, uh, criteria that they pose is not enough because uh, it's not enough. Um, sorry, later. And secondly, um, if we compare the Africa, first of all, about China, um, we said that counterattack is very possible, right? And we already talked about the incentive China has to protect its own um, its own uh, its own interests, right? And they said that of course that this kind of incentive won't work and they won't have any counterattack, but it can't be like 100% that they might counterattack and that they might um, start war. And this possibility will always exist and you can't 100% prove the future. And secondly, um, we believe that like countries like, sorry, they, furthermore, like that this plan is not a solution because like such acts of making very massive damage, um, of making like um, massive damage items is very rare, right? Because um, countries know that they will be internationally criticized. But these countries like China who do so even with that, even with that acknowledgement, um, will surely like uh, try to create these kind of environmental degrading items in other ways um, so that they won't fall under this policy. So they will try to make it that only um, the people in their country will be um, victimized and will um, be hurt instead of trying instead of um, neighboring countries so that um, so that this policy won't fall on them so that they can continue making these kind of degrading items. And so the fact that these um, environmental degrading items will keep on being created um, will not change. And um, so it will just be created to pollute its only self area. So like the problem of environmental um, pollution will not be solved. Um, the okay, even if, even if war happens, you haven't explained why war spread all over the land. We think that war battle happens near the land. At the dam, but like the war will cause innocent people to die, and I think that that is enough to kind of um, stop this policy. And we say so. I'll explain um, what we should actually do. Um, so, like the problem um, solution uh, match is mismatched in this case because um, when China, um, uh, so we believe that the steps required to achieving solution is what my partner has already told you to like bring it to cases of court like the International Court of Justice, the United Nations Security Council, and so forth. And of course they said that like North Korea isn't accepting and so forth, so then um, the dispute can't be brought to the court, right? But what we should focus on is putting international pressure on these kind of people to bring the court, bring the case to court. And if um, by doing this, then the, uh, then the court can actually put like, um, try to bring financial compensation or um, uh, or so forth, and other forms of compensation, compensation for the damage required on states like China, and so um, these kind, and they would have to follow the um, judgment if passed. And so this is a much more, um, uh, and these kind of money can be used to like clarify, uh, clear the water, and actually try to um, uh, improve the environment rather than starting a uh, waging war and causing more um, damage. So that is very strong. Thank you for the mocks. Next, I'd like to call upon the prize speaker from opposition to share a speech within four minutes. Two bottom of proof on this side of the Firstly, why today's case is applicable to the criteria of war. Secondly, why the consequences will be better under their policy. We say that both is unclear under their case. We think this is the reason why we have to take the debate. 
So find out the criteria for both. They told us intention, that let's call the rate hard. These are the criteria that we decide for. Now we accept these all criteria as unnecessary criteria. But what we say on this side of the house from the leader of speech is the fact that there are other criteria which are necessary to consider. Firstly, alternatives. We say legal settlement is the alternative. So we told you, like the case of Mexico Gulf or Leaks, or etc. We believe that's possible because the international pressure for sending them to the court will work. Because which is not about war, which is about legal settlement. This is the reason why international community will cooperate to pressure the country to go to the war. We think that's workable. But secondly, even if it takes long time, Still we say we can provide the water or food to sustain the people there. So we think there exists a clear alternative. There's no need that we have to make more harms by making it work. Secondly, we say there's also the issue of proportionality, we clearly told you. They just told us worst case scenario, right? They just told us worst case scenario of environmental pollution. People die, people are dying on the ground, like hundreds of people are dying on the ground. This is simply worst case scenario. But the, part, the problem is, we think there's no definition of massively damaging, right? Which means the small case of pro, the small case of environmental pollution can be included in this form of instance. We think this is unproportionate. That's why we have to oppose this motion. We can avoid a war simply conclusion. Second of all, consequences. They have, they told us like war will be simply like simply and easily completed, and that's why the deterrence will also work. The fundamental assumption here is faster international cooperation will work to fight against big countries, large countries, just like China, Russia, US, and so forth. We say international cooperation won't work because of the fact that in most of the instances, like each country have the voluntary rights to decide whether or not they cooperate militarily or so forth. We say they won't cooperate, right? Because they do not want to take a risk to invade and fight against just like China. They don't fight against Russia, they don't fight against the United States. This is the reason why the most countries do not cooperate to fight against the countries. That's why international cooperation won't work. Small countries have to fight against by themselves, which means in most of the instances, small countries cannot intervene to the large, large countries. That's the first conclusion. We cannot solve the problem. But secondly, even if these countries intervene into the China or so forth, they cannot settle war easily. Which means that more and more people have to die because the war simply continues. Mr. Speaker. And secondly, we clarify the motivation for China to fight war. Mr. Speaker, they do, they do said from the Whip Speaker that they do want to reduce the cost. We accept that. But before that things, we have to consider the fact that China has to protect their own citizens. By example, protecting the dams or factory, which is necessary to sustain their own people, right? If, if they lose dams, for example, they lose electricity, which is necessary to sustain their own living at the end of the day. Therefore, they have to protect by fighting the war in the first place. But more importantly, Mr. Speaker, if China wants to reduce the cost, they want to win the war, is and speedy, Mr. Speaker. This is the reason why simple consequences that small countries will more suffer. But more importantly, we think a large country can utilize this as an easy excuse. Because as we told you from the beginning, that we cannot know what exactly is a massively excuse, Mr. Speaker. They know that the international community will judge, but how judge, Mr. Speaker? We cannot judge what exactly is massively damaging, which means that even unnecessary cases like Russia, China, United States can easily utilize this criteria as a justification for intervening small countries, which means that these countries can benefit from this proposal by intervening small countries if they want to intervene other countries, which is a simple conclusion and only conclusion that we see as a harmful consequences. This is the reason why we have to oppose this motion. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the remarks. Last week, I'm going to call upon um, government, uh, government reply speaker to show your speech within four minutes. Is there alternative way to solve this kind of environmental problem? Is two surface, just surface one. 
They mentioned that the provisioning of water from going by the UN was and so on and so forth. We don't think such kind of problem or the bottle of water provision of bottle of water never ever grow the crops, especially in the context of the Mekong River. We need the water to grow the crops, which is fundamental for the people, as I mentioned in my prime minister's speech, or the pollution of the water. A lot of people suffer from the from the food chain concentration. The water or the fish, uh, fish is uh, fish is poisoned poison, poison up in the status quo and how to solve this problem. That's why we think as long as tons of tons of people suffering in the in the status quo, we think that, that as a last result of this state uh, of the current situation, we think the act of war is extremely important. So I can talk about two issues in my speech. Firstly, the criteria of war, and secondly, I can talk about practical consequences. Firstly, the criteria of war. We see that a lot of a lot tons of tons of criteria in this debate. Firstly, they mentioned that for proportionality and so on and so forth. But first, firstly, say they have, they never ever explained how this proposal is un unproportional in the first place because tons of tons of people die and suffering in the first place. And we see the government is not so stupid. The surrounding countries are not so stupid. The government they failed to calculate how many people die because of shut out of the such kind of mechanism. Because because complete shut out of mechanism is extremely extremely extreme situation in the first place. That's why I say. We said only the proportionate act can be can be taken in the in our paradigm. And more when they mentioned that alternative and so on, so forth. First we say the alternative uh, had uh, less likely or uh, less likely happen, Mr. Speaker. The less likely workable, Mr. Speaker. The alternative is the highly likely to just have a solution, as I mentioned in my introduction. And more we say, as a last result, of course, what such kind of hold or discussion can be the can in the way if the such kind of solution is workable. But we say that as a last result, we think the context of this debate happened. That's why we say alternative. Would never ever work. And what we say that in, in terms of intention, we say that intention is finally the such kind of or there is alternative that such kind of discussion can be taken or so on and so forth. That's why I say that this is a clear justification in terms of the how the such kind of people or such kind of country have the vicious intention and so on. So forth. and what we say direct causal link is identify that who have the responsibility clearly. That's why I say there is clear justification in terms of the causal thing. That's why I say this proposal is just justify the criteria of the war. So let's move on the issue of the practical consequences, Mr. Speaker. First, we say the people, the country whose health is just like the ASEAN or NATO, will have these things as a bit speaker I already mentioned that they have the incentive. Because they share the antipathy towards China, for example, in the case of ASEAN, they share the antipathy towards Russia in, in the context of the NATO. We think such kind of they, there is enough incentive to cooperate with this kind of country, even though they fear or they, they, they take the risk in the first place. And what we say, they, they, in terms of China, they have the, they, they don't have the incentive as I mentioned. Because we say that they, they just mentioned that the China is a country prioritizing economy over the environment, but we never hear from the other house that China prioritizes economy over the people. People's life. Tons of uh, people die uh, as they con conceive, but China still prioritizes. We never have that logic. That's why I say that China is not actor to such kind of stick to this kind of situation. That's why I say there is no problem at uh, all. And China, we, we see the clear deterrence effect in the first place. So they mentioned that the such kind of moral hazard and so on and so forth. First, we say such kind of calibration of damage is not so stupid, Mr. Speaker, because there's a lot of environmental professional and we can calculate and surrounding just. Uh, consume or the international society can, can examine this kind of situation and we say there is no problem at all. And so, lastly, we say that even more happens, as I mentioned in my point of information and as I mentioned in my model, we see that this proposal, the purpose of this model is just to break the such kind of elimination of the such kind of the cause of environmental degradation. That's why I say the war even battle happens, the less people die and just a soldier die, as I mentioned in my model. That's why we see that so just attacking a soldier is no killing for the innocent people. That's why we think that such kind of harm is mitigatable compared with the people who die under the Mekong River. We think this situation is extremely severe. That's why we are very proud of course. Thank you for the remarks. So I'd like to close this round.